Hey guys, and welcome back to another recording of Calibre Gamer. Today, I am back in Sudden Switch Shovelware. I guess that's the title now, uh, since I spent forever making this look. <laughs> and today, uh, we're playing Snug Finder, the one, the only, lifetime nominated classic. Now, for your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna give this game a little bit of a hard time because, uh, oh, my brother is, uh, I know my face was covering that, my brother's playing the new Ninja Turtles game, so I get to play um, what I can only assume is a, a child's seek and find. I do appreciate, didn't even show me a title screen, just put me <laughs> right into the game. Um, hopefully it's not too loud. I know um, my last video, the game was just a little bit too loud. We'll kind of play it by ear as we go. Okay. So yeah, this, this, uh, I love the uh, Play Store. This game was like $2, you know? And I, and I, when I go into these games, I'm totally going into it, like, just unaware of what it's going to be. I don't know what this stuff's going to be shovelware when I jump into it. You can kind of um, make some safe assumptions when you go into certain games. Oh, two minutes. Oh my gosh. Wait, where's the bull? I, oh my gosh, they're hiding in the corgis. That is actually adorable. It's a little weird to use the analog stick, but I, I see. I see now. I'm, I'm looking at the animals in between the animals. That's actually kind of adorable. I'm not gonna lie. I, I do. I do like this. Oh, that's cute. Um, I don't know. I think there was like a bull. Like what? Oh my gosh! There it is with the teeth and the tongue. That's adorable. Where the frick is the um hedgehog? Ah! <laughs> oh, it gave me extra time when I completed it. No, it's still counting down. Oh, it gave me time per thing. I think I saw something up here that I was like, is that a fish? There you go. Give me time per choice. That's not three stars. Boom! I don't know what these games are shovelware when I go into them. You have to assume when there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games on the Switch store and just a whole lot of them are like $9.99, now $2, you know, or $9.99, now $0.50, cents, <laughs> that like, there's probably some shovelware in there. And um, I just kind of wanted to give them a chance. Normally I wouldn't buy these games, normally I wouldn't play these games, but I think it's kind of cool to like see them. Oh, the turtle again. I kind of like this. The whale, butterfly, bro, bro, bro. Where'd that pizza though? Is that something? Okay, I'm not even I'm not even looking. I'm just finding interesting things and clicking on them and seeing if that's a thing. Uh oh, bread. Okay, where's where's my ducky? Yo, what the duck? Oh, uh, the bone. I saw the bone from the beginning, but I thought that was just like part of it. Um, ice cream. Oh, there's the pizza. This is oddly. Oh, I saw a uh, watermelon. I thought that was just the design of the um. <laughs> Umbrella, whatever this is. Three stars on the board. I, you know what? I should start the speedrun category for Snug Finder. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I, I don't know what made me, that's, I clicked on that. I don't know what made me start this little, uh, if you want to call it a series, right? I just was like, I was like, what would be kind of fun and different to do. That's kind of a... Oh, it was a different color. That's a little tricky. I was like, what would be fun to do that's kind of different, that not everyone really does, you know? Like, there's there's just so much out there that's already been done. Not that this hasn't been done. I'm sure there's plenty of people who have done it. But, like, I just... None of my larger YouTube following that I... That's a giant sausage! I love it! <laughs> That was hidden in plain sight. Now I gotta find this, uh, tuna can. Is it also hiding in plain sight? And I'm also missing a butterfly. I'm not gonna lie, there is a bright little camera light right there. And, um, it's making it a little hard to see past it. Well, what the frick? Where's my... Maybe back here in the coral? Help! Did I just fly past it and I don't know? I'm actually genuinely upset. No, I'm enjoying this game. Granted, uh, I bought it for $2. Wouldn't pay a cent over that. But for what it is, 
It is certainly a seek and find. And it is certainly stomping me a bit. Oh, butterfly. Okay, uh, that'll give me some time on the clock. I gotta find that can. Wait. Uh... Upsetting me a little bit that I can't find a tuna can. What the frick? Where is it? I didn't hidden in like an eye, hidden in like a cat. That cat back there. Help! <laughs> Where is it? I probably passed by it 12 times. It's like, God, this guy's annoying. Okay, wait, let's think about it. It's got three little stripes, very similar to that. Oh no! I lost. Well, wait. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Roll back everything. I lost, and it was like, mm, do it again. I clicked through it to see, oh, okay. Now that I've uh, gotten a certain amount of stars, I haven't locked any puzzle. Well, now I, I, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I can't just, like, be six minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> and fail at Snug Finder. But yeah, I'm looking at tails. Got a weird little thing about it. Looking at lines. Oh my gosh! There it is! That is sneaky! Oh! oh ho, ho. That was a sneaky time. Okay. I see your game. I I, I earned this level. Oh no, dude, you, you ruined the whole house. Mom is gonna be so upset. I saw that. Oh, that's a can. Not a toilet paper roll. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Shouldn't just click willy nilly. Um, that is a collar. Getting sneaky on me. That's a hidden little sausage. Hidden little butterfly. I see a hidden little fish. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, okay. I, I saw how weird that outline was. Um. Oh, little doghouse hid it in the the couch. That's a that messed with my brain there for a second. It is what it is. It is exactly what you signed up for when you saw a picture called Snug Binder. In fact, I remember the uh, Switch store said something along the lines of, um, "Congratulations, you beat the first level by finding this game." And I was like, "Oh, did I?" Did I snug finder? I always have trouble finding like the last item or two. That's the yarn ball misclicked. Where's the bone? I would assume it's like in the trap. Bone? Bone? Oh, in the pillow. Nice. Anything else? Some... Give me triple stars. What determines getting anything less than triple stars? I assume, like, if you've got, like, a very limited amount of time left, but... So... Okay. Wait, how many levels are there? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the game said something about, like, 800 items to find! And with there being, like... <laughs> or something like that, like, 300 items to find! Something to that effect. And I was just like, oh, yay. And I tried not to read the uh, descriptions of these games going into them necessarily. Like, uh, with Gun Plus, I, had, I figured it was a puzzle game. I had no idea past that. Oh, there's just fruits hiding in all these sheepsies. I can see it. Some of it's like, yeah, some of it's like, okay. Well, that's not. <laughs> Never mind. Um, let's see. When I look for, like, a specific item, like, I, I have a little bit more trouble... Is there a butterfly in this one? No. Where's the pain? That's a sh that's a that's a wolf! That's a wolf! What are you doing there, Wolfie? That's not sheep's clothing, that's just a wolf! Let me point point him out! Someone someone call like the, the sheriff! The, the 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 farmer! Where is where's carrot? Where is carrot? I feel like it would be Oh, there's the bear. Not bad. That, oh, stinky, stinky. Where's the uh, lettuce then? I thought that was the lettuce. And, oh, there it is. Reminds me of the game Sheep Raider, Looney Tunes Sheep Raider. If you've never played it, uh, you'll have to get a PlayStation 1 or a way to emulate said play. <laughs> but, um, I recommend it. I accidentally pressed back. Oh, never mind. Okay, but it, what am 
am I looking at? That is very visibly a squirrel and the pool. What if they hid random animals in there and some of them just weren't part of the listing? So you're just clicking away at animals and just like eating away at your... Well, I kind of did that. There's a fish bone. Granted, the uh, fish bone and the regular bone, it's like, okay, well that's underground. Like, whatever. Um, there's a turtle hiding in the carrots. There's a fox! That's a fox! That's just a straight up fox! That's just a straight up mama bunny. You need to you need to count your kids again. I think like one has been usurped. I hate I hate that was a well hidden snail. Okay, I forgot my screen cuts off like this whole corner. I can see I'm um, trying to point to it. I see up to Nya where that arrow the tin that that arrow is. That's the end of my screen. So I just had to base it off of the uh, the old cinnamon bun roll. Let me tear it up. Hey, 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 don't chew on socks. This is what happens when you let bad little dogs in your room. Archie Gray, Archie Gray, look. See this sock? Oh, oh, oh. Well, it became a toy now that you tore it up. It became a toy now that you tore it up. Is that what you wanted? One of my work socks. No. One of my work socks. This is not, this is not good behavior. I do, I do not recommend letting your dog chew on your socks and then playing tug of war with your dog. Well, I'm going to throw this away real quick. I just realized without thinking, I left the, uh, the game run in the background. I gotta really quickly find this chicken. <laughs> We're uh, about to bomb it. Oh, thank you for the kisses, brother. You're not in trouble. Lord knows, ain't nothing I can do about that sock now. If you find it, you get it. <laughs> I mean... Uh, wait, is the chicken maybe on this dude's person? It's in his hair. I can understand if you don't give me three stars for that one. Dang. I know I said that, but I'm still disappointed. More disappointed in myself, rather, than, uh... Than in Snug Finder. Okay, so let's get this last star right here. Well, then, okay, so uh, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, this game's made for children, right? But I don't like using that as a defense for any variation of medium because there are some shows, movies, games even out there that are made for children, but that are a flippin' blast to play for pretty much all ages. That in mind, um, there are games out there that are seeking finds that I probably haven't played yet, or but I watched people play, like Game Grumps or whatever, and. I genuinely really enjoyed it because it was a lot of fun. Um, maybe it wasn't necessarily because of the game itself, but you know, it just put a lot of effort into, you know, the story, a lot of effort into the dialogue, into, you know, just, just had fun with it. Like put in more effort than they should have for what it was, but it made it all the better for it. Let me get into Archie Gray. You found the second sock. Is that the pair? Is that the pair? Well, at least I found that one before he tore the shreds. <laughs> There's my bad little poodle, so you can watch them uh, look around my bed while I try to find this house. Did I click on that? Oh, a fan shape. At. Oh, this. There you go. Okay, but I guess my question is, where is the fun in this game? Where does it insist? Besides the <laughs> artificial temporary fun I'm making for myself. It's not bad. It's not bad for what it is. There's zero replay value. Like, I would not replay... Granted, I guess any sick and fun game wouldn't have a ton of replay value. But... Yeah, it's only two dollars. I don't know. I I'm a little bit too uh, I'm a little bit too forgiving with this kind of thing. Um, probably, like I genuinely, you know, I'm not a very 
judgy person by any means on any round, really. But at the same uh, token, please do not keep ice cream. Bro! Please do not keep ice cream, like, immediately on that man's swim trunks. But at the same time, like, even as I'm getting into it now, I'm like, okay. Like, I, I, did, I didn't even stick around to see if I got three stars. I did. Because I killed it. And the art style is cute. And the, and like, I see that they enjoyed it. And they probably worked hard on the, I mean, like, the art is good. It is well made. I know that's not a hidden object, the sheepdog, but <laughs> that's adorable. And, I mean, I like I said, I, I like the cute little art style. I like the um, the way they went about it as far as the, the visual. Uh, wish I was in the same song, just looping 20,000 times. Um, wish it, um... Wish I found this alligator a little sooner. There's the <laughs> bird. I'm a little... Oh, it is right there. Is that all of them? My buddy Hidoshira! It's online. Wait, where's the rabbit? Rabbit! Is that hiding behind? It, was be it was hiding behind my light. My little webcam is right there. <laughs> But I mean, there's no, like, there's no, there's no, there's no voices, there's no, like, there's no story. I mean, it just is what it is, you know? It, it's not bad. It's shovelware. It's sudden switch shovelware. It, 100% yes to this being shovelware. It is a fun enough time. If I was a small child, I would have been bored by it. Just speaking from experience of having been a small child, but also maybe I would have probably put a little bit more time into it if I was like a small, small child. Granted, when I was a little itty bitty child, I was playing on the Super Nintendo. And that's a little bit of a different, you know, times have changed, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Even then the Super Nintendo was like old for me. I was like, whoa! Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I don't want to play another minute of this. I'm <laughs> severely bored. I am I am jovial. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm having a good time. I just, you know, like right now, here I go. I'm just kind of going to fly through it. Look at that doggy. I want to find the bonus items. I want to find the hidden dog. Um, someone is. Can you see him? Can you hear that? The the gate might have canceled out. He's going because when he chews the rubber between his teeth, that's the noise it makes. <laughs> okay, well let's just finish this one out. Oh, I did see that. I was wondering if that was an item, and I was like, no, I don't think so. I think it's just weirdly shaped. Um. Okay, hold on. So, where is the last? I don't even know what I'm looking for. I just haven't, I haven't really even looked at the screen. I'm just kind of like, I find weird things, I click on it. Dude! Bro! He's having the time of his life. That took his socks away, so. Archie has whatever the, um, Archie is my boy poodle. And he has whatever the thing is for dogs where they will pretty much eat anything they can get a hold of. So... He has a bad, bad habit of eating socks. And he used to be really bad when he was a puppy. I mean, like, he's had surgery to have socks removed and, like, we had to make him throw up and stuff like that. And he's much better about it now. When he gets stuff, he usually brings it to us and shows it to us, and we just take it from him, and that's usually the end of it. But if I'm not paying attention to him, he will use that opportunity to, um, to, like, Eat the sock. Where's the freaking carrot? I can probably figure out the the candy cane. It's one of these striped things, right? Oh wow, yeah, right there in front of me. 
Where's the carrot? Carrot, 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 carrot. Carrot. But it's got a lot of little lines. Anyone's hair? Well, let's start clicking. <laughs> nope. Yep, I lost. Great. Bully for me. Well, feel free to check out this game if you want. I'm going to delete it. Uh, and never play it again. Thanks for watching. This was definitely Sudden Switch Shovelware. And until next time, um, stay calibrated or whatever. Thanks for being a part of the Floof Troop if you've already subscribed. Hi. Oh my goodness, my little girl came to visit. Let me, let me pick her up. Oh. Subscribe to stay calibrated. If you do, you get to join the Floof Troop with me and my uh, Floofy Poodles. And until next time, hopefully my air conditioning will be working and I'll be back in my office. And hopefully uh, the pizza parlor game I bought and the other shovelware games I bought aren't quite as abysmal. Bye everyone! Thank you for all the kisses. It's insane. RG's a good one too. He's just not a <laughs> good baby. <laughs>